everybody, this is Dave Rosenhaus with Dichotomy Design, and this is the biggest mistake you'll ever make yep. with your website. It's the thing that got me into business in the first place, and I see it happening over and over and over again, still almost 20 years later, and it's about time we all got educated on how not to make this mistake. So what is this mistake? Well, let me put it to you this way. Web guys and girls, not so much the girls, but web guys, because guys are guys, are very much like auto mechanics. They like to take advantage of people. They have a specific knowledge of things that not everybody has. And it's important. You need your car. You need your website. So what do these people do? They keep you hostage. They withhold information. They do things like shut down your website. I literally, I swear to you, no lie, I have had people come to me and say, I owe my webmaster five dollars and he shut down my website. How does this happen? Well, I'll tell you how it happens. Because so many people give the webmaster the login information, or let them create the login information for the website, and they don't even have it. How many clients have I had that don't know their own login information for the back end of their site? It's a, it, it boggles my mind. This is pretty much the same thing. If you owned an office, a brick and mortar office, and you gave the keys to the janitor, and it's the only set of keys, and now if he skips down, you can't get into your office to do your work. That ain't cool. So don't do it with your website. Make sure that you have the passwords to get in. Make sure for the control panel on the back end of the hosting, for your WordPress site, and here's the other thing. Don't give the master login information, the primary login information to anybody. You have a WordPress site, create a secondary user and give them admin privileges so they can do the job, but it's a second user account. You keep your user account and you keep your password. Don't give your passwords away. And that goes for your for your, for your e-commerce stuff too, PayPal. I've had so many clients who just give me their PayPal login information so I can create buttons and, and, and do other back-end stuff like that. And it's like, yes, you can trust me because I'm a sap and I don't screw people over. I, mean, I just don't. But there are people out there who do. And even though you can trust me, I don't want that information. I don't want the responsibility of your finances in my hands. That's ridiculous. Create a user. PayPal can do it. Um, WordPress can do it. Uh, your control panels, not so much. So you may, you may have to give the login information to them. But, but especially like if it's a one-off situation where you just need some help, you need somebody to go in, fix something, and then be gone change your password after it's done. And if for any reason you give somebody your main password, once the job is finished, change it. This is security, this is your business. It, it, uh, unless you're just doing it as a hobby and you don't care if somebody takes your entire business away from you and shuts it down on a whim, be secure. This is the biggest mistake I see people make and there's lots of others too, but that's the biggest one, and we'll talk about some of the others in some upcoming Periscopes, and that's the big tip of the day. So keep yourself safe, keep your logins to yourself, create new users, and let me know if you need any help with your website, dichotomywebservices.com, and I'll talk to you later. Peace.